Hello everyone, so another video here and I'm sharing a layout. I didn't unfortunately get to share or film the first part of the video that I normally do with what I'm using and you know the photos and things, but I will share something fun. So Jennifer McGuire has um, totally inspired me to always want to take what I have if I'm in a rut and think about another way to use it. So that being said, I will show you what I have here. So, a while back, I got these as a gift. These are basic gray, offbeat chipboard stickers. And this is what they, they're kind of like gardeny, flowery, outdoorsy, and yeah, never really used too many of them. Um, so in my quest to use up my stash, like most of you know, I've been just trying to plug away at stuff. I decided when I was sitting, when I was looking at these, I'm like, okay, Moment of truth, am I pitching these or what am I doing? So, I decided, you know, to take a look at them, what I could maybe use, and you see a lot of voids here and here and here. To me, these looked a lot like snowflakes, um, potentially. So, what I did was I took, I thought, well, if I'm, they're going in the garbage anyway, why not give it a go? So, took this sanding block, I mean, any sandpaper will work, and sanded them just to give them some tooth, you know, to make them a little rough, you know, dusted them off. Then, after that, I took just some whatever's on hand, white acrylic paint and a sponge brush, and put them down on my craft sheet and just started going, adding like probably three coats. I mean, every, every one is different, and obviously I didn't sand them down to nothing, but the color started to remove a little bit with just a little bit of gentle sanding. So after that, um, I was making a sledding page, eight and a half by 11 size. So this is what I came up with. So here's a close up. These are the pieces. I think they turned out great. Got to use five of them up. And like I said, they were, I guess, flowers, but not anymore. So what I did was, is I took a piece of navy, 8.5 by 11 cardstock, a piece of, this is actually a bashful blue, light blue. I used some navy, um, I don't remember the exact color, but this was more glimmer mist. Let that dry, and then went ahead, and I have four pictures here, two 3 by 4s and then these are uh, 2 by 3 and I popped these up on dimensionals because I wanted to put some behind. You can see there's, there's a little bit of dimension on these. So I wanted to put, you know, this one behind and plus the clip. Added my ribbon, pink washi on the top and the bottom. And this is a, you know, just a label that I had in my stash. And this all bundled up is from the studio, or where's it from? Scraptastic. They're all, their baby, it's cold outside, winter stamp set from last year. I cut with my alpha dyes, um, Lawn Fawn, Coles, ABCs, the word snow in a blue. I made these with my paper tray ink. This is the tiny strips, my alpha dye. And added some enamel dots for my stash. I wanted to bring in pink because you see my daughter here, the female Unabomber. Oh, like, this is so funny. I was cracking up. But it was chilly that day, and I'm, I'm guessing she was warm by the looks of her. So I wanted to bring in some pink, and, you know, super popular right now is to combine whites, blues, and pinks in your snow pages. So, so yeah, that was it. Super easy. Like I said, I figured, why not give it a shot, because they were just going in the trash anyway. So I'm actually going to look at these a little further, and, um... Yeah, I'm not going to toss them out just yet because I'm feeling like I might be able to give them some new life. Even if I use these as flowers, you know, this color scheme does nothing for me. But pinks, yellows, purples, um, those, I mean, you could see these on an Easter page coming up, guys. Um, this could be a sun even. I mean, you could paint this yellow. So this is all part of my, I know some of you might think, gosh, it's a lot of work. I want to scrap fast. I don't have a lot of time. But for me... All these little things are part of my 
2015 challenge where I wanted to get more creative, think more outside of the box. And so technically, just like my, you know, cover layout that I did for 2015, part of my mixed media, pa pulling out my paints, um, just giving it a go, you know, um, you know, this might not be like watercoloring and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm liking it and I'm going to see where it takes me and what else I can do with this because, um, because yeah, it worked. It worked. So give it a try. And I would love to see what you guys have share with me on my Facebook page. Um, you know, it, I just, I love seeing other people. If I inspire other people, great. I love see, seeing other people's takes on other things that might, you know, inspire me to use something up for my stash. So, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and you can find me on Facebook at Cut It Up Creations. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.